What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina1, and welcome back. Finally, after a few weeks, I do apologize for the long wait. A lot of stuff has happened since the last video, so I had to take care of all of that. But we are back. Bigger, badass, -er than ever. <laughs> I don't even think you can, that makes a lot of sense. But either way, we're going to get right into this. And reacquaint myself with the controls and all that good stuff. So here we go. Read our emails first. I wanted to congratulate you on surviving this long. You're a scrappy agent. It's courtesy of one professional to another one to let you know I'm on the hunt for you. Now you're a proud man and never pegged you for the time of guy to surrender. But if you turn yourself in, I promise I'll accept your white flag like a gentleman and take you in alive. Or you can keep running, in which case I will have to kill you. Nothing personal, fine, my friend. Just bishnish. Uh, okay, so we need to reply to C here. Uh, someone owe me a favor, gave me your email. Perhaps I should yada yada. Sorry, I forgot to turn off the uh, the noise here on the iPad Pro that I got on here. All right, very unprofessional of me. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Rarely send emails from home base. Pirating civilian email servers is just a part of the job. I'm glad you enjoyed our meeting, though I'm not to one mix business with pleasure. Playful, yeah. Tell Hobbit I've been naughty and need a spanking. <laughs> and demissive. I already have a mother. Thanks. Please don't email me flirtations banter. Contact me if you're willing to make yourself useful. Let's go with that one because she seems to like more of those. As you can see, we got a plus one, so we're trusted with her, and that's what we wanted. So let's go ahead and archive this. Gregory, this is uh, because we gave the uh, the stash to him. We're going to be able to get some money. Picked up 30,000 bucks. Nice. Let's see. He is more of a joking kind of guy. So we're going to go with joking. To make sure you sell those guns to kids. Maybe give him a bonus heroin for buying three or more guns. Perk acquired. Textaholic. And we got plus one, so nice. And obviously, we've already told me something across your travels. Check out the uh, publisher's clearing house and see what we have won. Um, I always go to Intel first. Intercept circle off a of U.S. Embassy dossier information on G22 purchase will expand your dossier on the organization. Of course, we are going to. Buy that. Mission map. Security details. Okay, we'll buy that. Uh, no, because we don't kill anyone, so therefore we don't need the sniper. And, of course, we will buy this as well. Not enough for the advanced stealth, but we got pretty good odds right now. Pretty good uh, equipment. One hundred forty-three thousand three star there. All right. Other than that, I think we're good to go. We've got everything we need. Hopefully everything is running smoothly. I remember last time there were always a few problems when... When doing this in 4K. Let's go ahead and customize our agent a little bit. I feel we'd be we'd be too much of a I want to be professional. I just I really really like the half rim glasses look. And we'll go with the five o'clock shadow. I think that's good. Hair wise though, maybe. Yeah, we haven't used this look yet, so let's go with this one. Alright. Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get into this. In Moscow today, authorities are baffled by the aftermath of a shootout at the Leningradsky train yard, which left several dead and an estimated $500,000 in property damage. The identities of the victims have not yet been released, but according to an unnamed source within the investigation, several of the deceased were armed with military-grade weaponry and body armor. No word yet as to whether these men were associated with any foreign government or were acting independently. In related news, Russia's Prime Minister has announced that new legislation will be enacted. All right, so our next mission is to intercept Surkov at the U.S. Embassy. And it's go time. Turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigory provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Mike, I understand you're going after Surkov. I suppose it's too much to ask to give me some warning before you interrupt my calls. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are considerable. All right. I could use all the help I can get. Excellent. I have your frequency. I'll contact you when you reach the embassy. And we can go from there. I'll get my gear and head out. All right. One last thing, Mike. I prefer infiltrating the embassy quietly. If things should get difficult, however... I'll be ready. Expecting trouble? Always. Great. What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Albatross is going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. So this is the embassy, huh? I was hoping for something a little cheerier. There's still no contact from G-22. Do you want to call Mike, Albatross. Our surveillance indicates you're at the embassy perimeter. Can you confirm? I'm guessing that feedback means you've cut me off from my handler. I've locked down your signal to keep radio traffic to a minimum. It's a low probability embassy security will pick up our conversation, but I'm worried about other interests. Understood. Has your surveillance picked up anything else? We're checking the embassy grounds now. No sign of hostiles. Yet. All right. Let's see what we got at the front door. Embassy guards. Standard issue weapons. According to our intelligence, the embassy hasn't been alerted. So they shouldn't be expecting trouble. Still, approach with caution. Always. All right. So here we go. New objective is to find Surkov. Now, you can actually do this in two different ways. You can actually go right up to them and get inside via using your charm. Or you can actually sneak in through the ladder on the right side. If you sneak in through the ladder on the right side, you're more of a threat because you're sneaking in and you're not, you know, they, they're never going to consider you to be a friendly. So if you want to go the more stealthier route, you're actually going to actually want to uh, just go right up to the door and sneak in or go right in. So I decided to choose Albatross because Albatross is a more sneakier kind of, he understands me a little bit better than C is. She's more aggressive and likes the more action approach. So it really depends on what type of person you are and what type of game that uh, you want to play. Can we help you, sir? I'm Agent Michael Thornton, here to see Sergei Surkov. Who's in command here, soldier? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I can try and get a hold of him, sir. I think he's inside, but, uh... Never mind, I'll find him. Notify your team that I'm here to do an inspection of the premises, and I want their full cooperation. Yes, sir. At once, sir. These aren't the agents you're looking for. All right, I'm sure you guys are ready for a uh, little bit of a fight. Alright, so it looks like we've got four enemies. Remember, they're not shooting at me, they're actually shooting at the other guy. 
so let them come a little closer. We can get their attention a little bit. So let's go ahead and move over to our shadow operative. Let's see if we get in a better position. I almost want to let him take it out, but we'll do it. All right, so we did all the work. We helped out. Uh, we don't really need that. Not a big deal. Now, the thing is with this is you do not want to let them see you grab anything, like a uh, break into any rooms. Uh, if they if they see you breaking into rooms, then you screw yourself over. Uh, then they will start coming after you. So. Since don't go outside or else you'll break your cover. Make sure the guy out there doesn't see you do this. You don't want them uh, to see you do anything, you know? Alright, 8-7 right there, first one. Yeah. Info on C. That would be a lot easier if you could just go... Well, there's a couple different routes I guess you can go. So just remember you're still in stealth mode here, so be stealthy as possible. And we bypassed again, there's two different routes you could take, this is just one of the routes. So you can see there's two extra guards here, there's, there's two different ways you can get to them, you can bypass these guys if you want, but I'm gonna go the more... He actually doesn't see it, so... Which is a little hilarious, but... The main objective in missions like these are not that we get seen, um, it's more of that we don't cause an alarm, since this is more of an action-oriented type of mission. Reinforcements are being deployed. They're repelling from the chopper onto the ledge outside the building. Again, just like always, some enemies will automatically shoot whenever you headshot them. Not your fault. They don't see you or anything like that. Not really anything you can do. Zirkov is close. I'm picking up his radio. Alright, we got a few enemies in there, you can see, but there's also... 
a turret. So we're going to get by the turret. Wait till they get back into their respected uh, looking patterns. Actually, we could probably take out this turret right now. So what I'm going to do is switch over to weapons and then we're going to go pistol ammo. And we're going to take the turret out. Again, you don't want the turret to see you, so remain hidden. Oh, one more shot and it's done. Alright, so that takes care of things. So now we're going to go in back to tranquilizer mode. He does it all. He's not half bad. Look at him. Alright, 2 0. That's right below me. <laughs> and I hit. Oh, there. This controller is just so sensitive. Uh, there's a few items in here. But as you can see, we can't get into it yet. We will be able to get into it, though. Go ahead and hack all the stuff now. Uh, FC. And <laughs> right below us. It's very, very uh, sensitive. That armor you're wearing, are you one of these terrorists? If you intended to sneak in here, your plan seems to have backfired, judging from the gunfire and the people you've killed. I've killed if no one. If you are one of the attackers, whatever you're being paid, I can pay more. Turn up the feed. I want to hear his voice clearly. Good. You've got his attention. Now get his cooperation. Surkov, I am not here for your money, only information. But right now, I want to get you out of here, safely. Very well. I do not know who these attackers are, but I do know this embassy. Well done. Let's see what he has to share. The embassy security systems are our problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. They must be disabled if we want to escape the building. So I need to find the security terminal and then override the codes. Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But in the monitoring room next to us, there is a maintenance ladder. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the courtyard. We don't have much time. Oh, looks like it's time to level up. I noticed that it does sound a lot like Ezio Auditori's voice, Roger Craig Smith. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I do know he's in this game. I have heard his voice before. So we've got a few skills. We've got 11 to be exact, which is just enough to get another stealth and another pistol, or we could even go sabotage. Uh, binary invisibility automatically triggers when a camera... That's a, the advanced version of it. It's only worth three. Um, yeah, we're going to go... Well, we can get two of these. Chain shots. We can move up to... What is it? Four? No, it's five. That would probably definitely come in handy. We can get both of those. Or we can go Shadow Operative, which will give us more time at being... Yeah, that's what we want. Look at this. We're going to go... We're going to go with both. Although the level of pistol proficiency provides bonuses to accuracy and stability. We're not too bad when it comes to that. So we're going to go ahead and increase our stealth. We're going to get that. Oh, we only have five. Gotcha. So it looks like we are going to go with the pistol. All right. Room Sirkov mentioned should be close by. Once inside, look for a maintenance ladder leading up to the fourth floor. Alright, so this is just one route that you can take. Don't worry about the turret there, you don't see it. You can go that way. Or you can go the route that he had actually asked you to go, which is back here towards the room that we couldn't get into before, but now we can. Mandatory loading screen here. Let me see if I can open the maintenance hatch by remote.
deployed several groups on the roof. Be careful. Get over here as soon as you can. All right, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my chain shot. And then we're going to switch over to shadow operative. Almost, almost screwed that one up, but we got it. No alarms means we are still 100% golden and good to go. Took out the main ones in this room. You can see there's still a few more things left. Let's go ahead and grab this computer back here. Again, I'm a little bit rusty as you can see, but we're going to get back into this. Two, four... These are a little bit harder to see. There it is. 6,000 bucks, nice. All right, so with this, we've got another turret, but we can take out the turret. Again, in the same manner that we did before. So, go over to weapons, switch back over to your pistol. And since we have a silencer, we can shoot this until it's all the way down. And then we don't have to worry about any of it. Switch back to our tranks. Alright, so as you can see, we've got three enemies. Um, debating what I want to do. Go ahead and shoot this guy. Wait for them to either, you know, come back out. See, that was kind of weird, right? Shot him, but he still got a few rounds off. I think it's an automatic thing. It's not like they see you. It's just a, uh, something you really can't avoid. No alarms mean we have not been seen. As you can see, trank rounds are very hard to come by. So, disable security. Seven one down here. And C eight. Make it, make it, make it. It's so slow. Alright. Did it. Security gates unlocked. Now all I have to do is get out of here. Rendezvous with Surkoff in the main courtyard. He should be on his way there now. Alright, so this has been the most difficult part that I've had in the game so far. And that's just trying to be completely stealthy without him seeing us very very difficult uh, and it's not because of good AI it's definitely not because of that right now I'm just looking for the other one there it is right in front of me so lots of things to do we're gonna get right to it got a I'm dossier for Scarlet Lake on the upper floors. I'm trying to shut them down and cut off further reinforcements all right that could go either way sometimes we'll see sometimes it won't but if he stays there then it's pretty easy all right go ahead and switch over to your pistol ammo here with this turret. Wait till the turret's looking to the left. Once it's looking to the left, you can get around this corner here. You don't want to use your binary skill yet, as you'll need the binary skill for the second turret. The 
there's gonna be some guards that will surprise you. So make sure that you go through this area first. Done. Once you hear that, then you can come back around. Wait till they're in position. Again, that could go many different ways. It's not always the same. Who's up? Nice. So it actually worked out pretty well for us. We were able to get uh, the guards over in this area so we could take them out stealthy. However, and this is the, the crappy part, we've already used our binary. So this turret, you can see is from like a mile back. I don't know if I can get up against this cover. We're gonna try. I'll wait till it's on the right. So we will switch over to our regular ammo again and do the same thing. Except it looks like we're not going to be able to get an easy shot. Look, I guess we're just too far away. But we could still shoot it enough each time it turns to the right. Uh, you'll know if you failed if you hear an alarm. That's how you'll know it's seen you. So keep doing this. Looks like we didn't get it. Always wait though until it's on the right side. Ooh, now it's starting to really not hit. There we go, one more. Oh, look at it. Got it. Woo! Again, you will get an alarm if you are seen by that turret, and that's how you'll know that you weren't good enough. <laughs> you'll notice that's where we need to go. Yeah, it's bouncing around. Normally, the other guy is in here, the but he came out. Look for another way off the floor. don't know which one we can Ready. all right so there's a door over there I don't know if we can get to it custom shotgun grip so that's cool too now one thing you can notice if we would have took this route we would have been able to sneak behind all those other guys but then you you miss the chance of losing out on you know certain object loot and things like that so uh, it just depends on how challenging you want to make it I guess we could have just no see how you can't leap over from here but you can leap over from there so yeah you really do have to take that route I'm picking up DCI transmissions Looks like reinforcements are entering the embassy. Uh, we're all, you know, full on health, so...
think there's multiple ways down here. Yeah, you can see you can go this way down, there's another way down. I think it's better though to go this way. Sirkov's at the front door. Provide cover. Don't let him get shot, or this was all for nothing. Tango Bogey Niner, initiating search. Alright, we're gonna switch. Get the chain shot. Switch back over to Shadow Operative. Here we go. I presume you helped me because I can help you. I'm here to find out what Halbeck's doing in Moscow, Serkov. I've been told you're the man to talk to. Should I be honored? But Halbeck? Why? It's my responsibility to find out what they're doing here in Moscow. Your responsibility? Sometime. Forgive me, Mr. Thornton, but my understanding was that you are a rogue agent. That doesn't make me any less responsible to my country or to the world, Mr. Serkov. Can you help me? I will, gladly. Halbeck is smuggling weapons through Moscow. Was your country not already aware of this? I'm not sure how much my government really knows. There seems to be protocols in place to blind them to their own actions. Hmm. I do not know who Halbeck's contact is in Moscow, but it will not take me long to find out. I appreciate the cooperation. As I appreciate you saving my life, Mr. Thornton. I think our responsibility to our countries is something we see eye to eye on. Glad to hear it, Sirkov. I look forward to hearing from you. Alright, well there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Mission complete. Objective 6 out of 6, so let's go down and read those. Again, this is the type of mission that is a lot more difficult to be completely stealthy. It's actually impossible to be because of the ending uh, and other factors throughout the level. So hopefully I've made it somewhat easier for you not to at least get an alarm. That's pretty much the basis. This whole game you cannot get through without being seen because there is a lot of action-y parts in different sections of missions and stuff like that. So with that being said... Bonus objective, Thornton bluffed the embassy guards and letting him in, removing the need for a firefight or to sneak his way in and arouse suspicion. Thornton allied with Albatross as a co-handler. The two encountered resistance in the form of the VCI. We didn't kill any of the VCI, and that's a very important fact. Um, and obviously during the firefight, Thornton helped the embassy guards fight off the attackers. After reaching third floor, once rescued, uh, Surkov was grateful. He agreed to meet with Agent Thornton and tell him all he knew about Halbeck's interest in Moscow. We have a new mission gained. Contact Surkov at the Moscow office. Let's take a look at our stuff. 82% with the pistol accuracy. I got a little weird out uh, in the end because there was something attached to my scope whenever I was... I, I, I was focusing on that and I couldn't get the center of the actual um, crosshairs, which kind of confused me a little bit. But no alarms triggered, no medical bills... No orphans created, which means we didn't kill a single person. That was the whole point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what I could do to better the videos. And hopefully you're enjoying uh, the Alpha Protocol. And of course, I will see you next time. Peace out, bitches.